Hello all. Um, I'd like to welcome you to uh, an area where I, I put things on YouTube so I can remember them for the future. And, and hopefully, uh, if any of the stuff's useful, then you might be able to use the information too. Right, uh, this is about changing the username and home directory on a MacBook Air that I'm giving away. And the process isn't difficult, it's just a bit long-winded really. And it involves setting up a new user on, a, uh, on the machine, the original machine. And then from that new user, um, making sure that um, the new user is able to modify the old user account. And um, basically that's it. So um, let's get going. Uh, the first thing you need to do, open system preferences, then go to users and groups. And when you're in users and groups, you're going to have to unlock, in which case you're going to need your uh, password. And now we can go about setting up a new user. So down here on the bottom left, there's a plus sign. If you click the plus sign, you'll see the username which just input something there and then you have to do the account name use the same name password you can leave blank for now and then just create user if you don't put a password in it will ask you whether or not um, you want to carry on right that's it so you now have a new user you now have to, this is really important, allow the user to um, administer this uh, computer. Right, so basically it means it has full permission to change anything it likes. Right, so when you're at this stage, you now have to log off of the uh, original user, and then you're gonna have to uh, log back on again under the new username. Uh, so because when I do this process, um, it's going to take a few minutes. I'll um, rejoin when um, all is done. I've now booted in as the new setup user and now I'm going into uh, Finder. Now with Finder open we're looking for the user directory. Now it won't be shown here so we're going to have to go to Finder Preferences and then we are going to have to go to Sidebar and we have to tick Devices and untick all my files. Now what we have to do is now double click the old user, there's the hard drive, double click that and go to users and now we see the new user which I've just set up and there's the old user now I'm going to change the old user name by one clicking it once press return which allows me to rename it I'm just going to call this uh, Colin 1 and press return It will ask for a password, and if you didn't set one, just press OK. So now we have set the new, uh, or sorry, the old account name to whatever we want to call it now. So then we have to go into System Preferences, then we go to User Groups, and then we have to Unlock. Again, password needed. If not, just click Unlock. Okay, so now we see the old user and the current user. So we need to go into the old user and then we need to right click, which is either two fingers or the right hand side of the keyboard, and uh, right hand side of the uh, mouse pad, depending on how you set it up. So click that and you have advanced options. And in here, um, this is very important. Don't change stuff. 
because it will cause havoc. Right, we only need to have a look at two lines here. So this one is the account name. I wanted to change that to Colin1. And here we're going to tell it what is the home directory. So we go to choose, which will open up Finder. Then we can go to the drop down, we can go to users. So we go to users, and then we have the names under here of all the users. So that's the current user, that's guest, which is not turned on, and this is the one where we want it to go to. So you click that one, you do open, and then we have this completely set up. So the new user account name, then we have the location of the home directory, and we just press OK, and they're done. The next phase is to change some names under the networking and then we have to log out and log back in as the new or the old user and then we can delete this user. So for now we can go to show all and we go to sharing and now up here we have Colin. So this is the computer's computer name um, with reference to the network. So up here we're just going to modify that and call that Colin 1 and you should notice when you do edit that this is also Colin 1. So now on the network this will be seen as Colin 1. Right now you have to log out of this user so that's small black apple, log out, and then after you've done that, you're going to log back in as the original user. Job done. That's it. So now everything is completely set up for uh, the original user, but it has a changed name. Now remember, uh, if you do want to see your name up here, login options, tick fast user, and you're done. That's it. So uh, I hope this has been some use to you because uh, I use YouTube to store information that I'm bound to forget in the future. And um, if that information is any good to you, uh, then please feel free to absorb and pass it on. Right. I uh, speak to you soon when I found something else that I'm going to forget. Alrighty. Goodbye.